What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another What's Coming Thursday video. So short and sweet as we usually do, we know what we're going to be getting. We know roughly what we're going to be getting now that the season is back. I do think we will get a Summer Transfers Volume 3. I definitely think we'll get that. If we don't, I think that they'll probably bring out some of these transfers into, you know, packs quite early. You know, so for example, Xerxes, I think we'll get to him in a second. He could potentially get us a, uh, a new card. But I do think we'll do a volume three of this summer transfers because it was slightly earlier than last year. And I think that there's a lot of players missing from the first two volumes of this, right? We also know that these are going to be ending in seven days time and these are going to be ending in 21 days time. So we're going to see no nominating contracts or selections here, I would think, for at least another week, right? Where we're going to be getting new cards is going to be new epics probably and new, uh, you know, actual player of the weeks. So every Thursday, without fail, there is player of the weeks. And this is what I think that we could get, right? So obviously, let me just show you this first, right? So Konami actually tweeted out there a couple of minutes ago that there is a new worldwide player of the week coming and you can see here the little digits beside the card so these are goals scored on the 25th minute the 65th minute and the 87th minute okay and as you can see here it doesn't take long to check out things but i think that we have pretty much figured it out already it looks to be xerxes scoring in the 87th minute and then i think salah in the 65th and Kai Havertz in the 25th. Now, also Lewandowski in there as well. This depends on how many players that they actually add. It's usually 11 players, as they mentioned there. So there could be other players. You know, Haaland could be in there. Matoma is a shout as well. He scored on the 25th minute, I think, for Brighton. Uh, Jamie Vardy could be in there as well. Uh, it depends. It depends. But I definitely think that they will give one to Xerxes and, of course, to Kai Havertz because they are... You know, they're obviously uh, partnered clubs and, uh, you know, licensed clubs. And um, I think that they'll really try and push Manchester United players, right? Now, also on top of that, and on top of those players that are coming there, we do also have with these um, legends, right? We do also have with these legends a couple of unreleased legends that we don't, you know, have yet, right? So obviously we're working through these, but there are three of these left, okay? Now, there has been rumors of a Manchester United Showtime pack, I don't think that's going to come until eFootball launch, like eFootball 25. Obviously, it's just known as eFootball now. But I don't think we'll get that until launch, like literally launch day, right? Hollett Van Basten Rijkaard. I would say that they're probably, you know, Czech and uh, the two boys that we had there, you know, a couple of days ago, uh, Maldini and Mateus. Mateus. Very, very strong pack. And a lot of people actually really enjoy getting this Maldini. I think he's the best centre back in the game at the moment. But I do feel like Hollett and Rijkaard in this box... With Van Basten could actually be more popular. Now, the reason I say this is because you've got Rijkaard, who's probably top five players in the game, and you have Hullet, who's probably top five players in the game. So you've got two five of the best players in the game. And I think that Hullet is just such a unique card that a lot of people haven't really got the best out of Hullet. And I think they'll look to get this card going into the new eFootball update and see how he goes. So, yeah, there is a couple others there as well. Obviously, you have Raul, who's there as well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it depends. Xavi, Raul, there's a couple that have still been released already, but some that haven't, you know. But we are getting down to probably the last 10 or 12 legends that have been unreleased, but that have been in the database for ages, right? Other than that, we know what we're going to be getting. Everything else is going to be staying the same. We have the events, the objectives. They're all going to be refreshed slightly. We still have the downloads campaign going on. We still have the penalty kick going on. We still have all of these going to be going on until I would reckon, what, the first, maybe second week of September, uh, the 12th of September. That's probably going to usher in, um, you know, the next big update, right? But the events are going to be risk and repeat, all of that sort of stuff. A couple of people asking me as well about the, uh, the stuff in the shop and how that's going to work, right? I will have a video coming up soon on the eFootball points and what I think is going to happen and also a couple of clues as to what will be happening because uh, there is a couple of surprises that are going to be happening. eFootball 25 is going to be changed quite a bit in terms of stuff to do, I reckon. So, yeah, I'll get into that, and uh, we will chat about that at a later date, closer to launch. But, yeah, that is it for me. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button. I'll talk to you in a bit.